Funniest sports related moments in SpongeBob SquarePants. Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Laffy Tunes. SpongeBob SquarePants has been a television stalwart for so long that it seems like the series has flex. It's patent humors on every topic imaginable, from being a sponge out of water in an unfamiliar city to attempting to deliver a pizza. It's hard to think of a scenario that hasn't been explored by the Nickelodeon staple. Even though it has nothing to do with sports, SpongeBob, Patrick, and the gang have dabbled in a few sports-related gags in the past. In today's video, we take a look at the best sports-related gag on SpongeBob. Stay tuned! Doodle Bob Bowls In the Season 2 Frank and Doodle episode, Doodle Bob wrecks a havoc across Bikini Bottom and on the lives of SpongeBob and Patrick. At one point, he even conjures a bowling ball hurling it at the stupefied SpongeBob and Patrick. As these things tends to transpire in cartoon, Patrick morphs into a shape of a bowling pin. The visual is completed by some classic bowling alley adornments to punctuate a silly beat in what was ultimately a slightly scary installment of the series. The Sports Channel Frequently, people are fascinated by the jokes present in their childhood cartoons that are actually more adult than they initially seem to be. The most prominent example of that in SpongeBob comes when SpongeBob leans forward eagerly at a footage of a sea anemone. But when Gary pops by, SpongeBob flinches and nervously claims, I was just watching the sports channel. We're going to need a better explanation, SpongeBob. The Squidward's Impression Next up, we have the classic season 3 episode, I Had an Accident, where the episode begins with the character sandboarding underwater. While performing tricks on the sandboard, SpongeBob pulls off the grouchy Squidward, which sees him contort his face to look like his neighbor and remark, Everyone's an idiot except of me. Squidward idly sips his tea and remarks, Well, it's true. Truly, the X Games has nothing on SpongeBob and his unparalleled sandboarding prowess. Now I'm a jerk and everyone loves me. In Season 1 Muscle Spa Buff Pants episode, SpongeBob indulges in anchor arms as a misguided attempt to impress Sandy. After all, Sandy has a prolificity for fitness. The inflatable muscles obviously wind up backfiring, but the advertisements to get there is quite funny. To promote them, a shark states, I was a wimp before anchor arms. Now I'm a jerk and everyone loves me. The moment comes in a sporty shot of various aquatic weightlifters and remain one of the SpongeBob's most perfectly constructed jokes. Rocky wins. The Great Snail Race is an episode that is exactly what it sounds like. A race held between local snails pitting SpongeBob putting on airs of a grouchy Ted Lasso against Squidward and Gary against Squidward's pet snail, Sneely. Yet neither win up victorious, instead that honors belongs to Rocky, the pet rock snail delivered to the race by Patrick. At first, he simply tells Rocky to go when he's ready. By the end, an inanimate object has somehow become the victor. Because you told me to. There are a ton of hilarious moments from the SpongeBob equivalent of the Olympics, the Fry Cook Games. There are even some morbid ones, as oil fries a number of fish who are merely spectators at the competitions. The most hilarious one, though, comes after SpongeBob delivers his rallying cry for the Krusty Krab. Patrick attempts to counter this on the nose words from Mr. Krabs' longtime rival Plankton, who asked Patrick to win an event simply because he told him to. Football. Bubble Bo. Not only is the entirety of Ben Geeks an immaculate episode with some of the series' best humor, but it also happens to be zenith of all across the animated comedy on Nickelodeon. The performance of Sweet Victory will always live on in SpongeBob lore, but there is a plenty of sports adjacent humor to go along with it. After all, Squidward's bands put on a halftime show that moves devoted football fanatics to tears. Plus, SpongeBob singing in a voice that is definitely that is definitely not his never gets hooked. Sandy's her name. Lastly, karate is actually the basis of the funniest sports moment in SpongeBob history. In the episode No Weenies Allowed, SpongeBob attempts to sneak a karate attack on Sandy, who is more than prepared for his tricks. When he pouches and sees no one, he asks, Sandy? To this, Sandy's reply, Oh, I'm Sandy, alright? I am very Sandy. Before leaping from her sand covered hiding spot and smacking him sky high. As SpongeBob soars through the sea, following the hit, he blithery quips, Oh, I get it, she's Sandy. That's her name and she's also covered in… yes. It's not the only funniest sports moment on the show, but it's an ace Spongebob scene altogether. Those were some amazing Spongebob sports gags. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching.